What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be checking out the Uptain Sea-Fly drone that I picked up directly from GearBest.com for only $340. This one here guys compares quite dramatically to the Mavic Pro that we have seen in the market for quite a while now. And we have seen all kinds of replicas out there but let me tell you this thing is almost identical in every single way. And I'm talking about the brushless motors, the way it folds, the way it looks the camera, everything looks very, very similar at a fraction of the cost. So getting a look here at the box is very simplistic. We only have the Uptane logo with the Seafly logo here towards the bottom side. On the side, it's absolutely plain as well as on the back here, just giving us some caution. Uh, it is recommended for ages 18 plus, so adults. And uh, yes, guys, this is not a toy. If this thing crashes into someone or an object, it will damage quite dramatically everything that it touches so make sure that you're very careful when flying this thing around so anyways let's go ahead and open the box here i of course tested it and again guys i'm super impressed and i have seen a lot of complaints out there with many different features of this drone some people complain about the drone some people complain about the flying quality but i'm not sure if maybe it's because i got a different color model they have probably updated the software or i don't know what it is but i have not had a single problem with this particular drone with the exception of the compass calibration, which we're gonna be talking about later on in the video. So anyways, the first thing we find here is of course the drone, and we can't deny that this thing looks very, very close to the original Mavic Pro, guys. I mean, it is almost identical, with the exception that on the original Mavic Pro, we had the battery where it attaches here on the top side. On the Uptain C Fly, the battery goes on the back. So that's so far the main difference between the real one and the Uptain C Fly. So setting this aside, we have the battery charger. It is proprietary. There you guys can see it. Okay, we got the battery itself. This is a 3800 milliamp smart battery, as we can tell right there. And the voltage, it's 11.1 um, volts. Okay, this is again proprietary, so if you guys want to add accessories, you will have to purchase it directly from the Uptain website or Gear Best. All right, so there we have it for the battery. The next thing we have is a little power cord for your charger. Then we have the remote controller, and this is where everything changes a little bit. I would say quite dramatic from the controller of the Mavic Pro, and the battery cap just came off by accident. So on the front here, we have a little bracket, so that way you can hook up your cell phone. It's quite safe, to be honest with you guys. It comes with some rubber pieces so that it doesn't damage your cell phone, and it's quite safe. I have tested it already, and it doesn't feel cheap. What feels uh, cheap is uh, these switches right here. It makes you feel like you have an old device. I don't know why they decided to include this type of uh, design on here. Uh, anyways, the one on the left hand side doesn't do anything as well as the one on the right side. So maybe that's for future uh, features, who knows. But the one on the left side here, we have altitude hold mode, we have position hold, and finally we have the rotation mode where it's going to uh, basically rotate in a 360 matter around you. So it's going to be facing the remote controller. So in other words, it'll be facing you and it'll just start rotating the further you go uh, from yourself, uh, from the remote controller, then the bigger the ratio of the circle is going to be. Then we have here a dedicated camera and photo button. If you tap it quickly, it'll take a photo. If you hold and press it for about two or three seconds, it'll start recording. We have a uh, takeoff and landing button right here. So this is different from the return home. The return home switch is gonna be the one here on the right side, by the way. And uh, then we have the two levers here so we can take off and fly around. So it is a very simplistic remote controller in my opinion. Uh, this is the power switch. So all you have to do is just move it up and you can see that everything started to function normally here. On the bottom side, we have the charging port, okay, for the battery, and the battery is removable, but the cool part is that it is rechargeable. So that's something that I haven't seen on a Chinese drone in quite a while here. This is the battery. Um, we got here a manual that I would say provides decent information, meaning that it is understandable, and they have included a lot of pictures. Now, something they don't teach you is to um, calibrate it, okay, and I had a little bit of an issue doing so, but I finally got it to calibrate quite properly. The next thing we got here is a little adapter. In case you're from Europe, then I guess you can use this one right here. And we have a USB cable, okay, this is for updates and to also charge your uh, remote controller. We have a pair of uh, props right here, and one is a B side, 
and the other one is the A size. So I would recommend that you guys buy more in case you like to fly kind of wild like I do sometimes. So there we have it for the extra props. And then inside of the box here, we have nothing else. All right, guys, so getting back here to the Uptane C Flight Drone, let me go ahead and get started by giving you a quick 360 view around the product. So you guys can tell so far that it looks very, very close. Once again, on the top side here, we have the power key. Uh, even the original Mavic Pro has it located on the top side, but they have it on the actual battery. Um, on the back side here, we have the slot for the battery once again. And we have the little USB port in case you need to upgrade the uh, software inside of the drone, which is really cool. On the front side, we have the gimbal. This is a five megapixel sensor able to record in 1080p. Now the quality guys is really not the best. I mean, if you're looking for a high end quality recording camera, then this drone may not be for you. But I think that the recording quality that comes with it is quite sufficient if you're gonna use it as a hobby and not as a professional drone. So here underneath, the uh, or on top of the camera we have a little slot here for the SD card you can um inserted up to 256 gigabytes so that's quite sufficient and it will also record on your smartphone but the Wi-Fi transmission kind of uh, makes the quality look very very bad so I would suggest that you guys insert the SD card and you're gonna thank me later so let me go ahead and unfold this thing and by the way a lot of you guys may be wondering why I have this little thing open and for those of you who own it you know exactly why I have it open this thing is really hard to get it open and when you get to it you will need to use a tool so i would suggest that you hold the gimbal down and then use a tool to open it because you can run the risk of actually yanking the whole thing here guys this thing is really really hard to open so that's why i decided to leave it like this for now so here we have the arms they unfold very similar to the mavic pro let me go ahead and give you guys here a quick example of what i'm talking about so here we can see the drone completely opened up and on the front side here we have some led lights they blink i think they stay no i'm sorry they stay solid red all the time when you're flying okay and then on the back side here we have the led light for the uh, GPS and also the calibration that you do with it. Sometimes when you're doing the compass calibration, it'll blink, I think, blue. And once you have all the GPS signal, it'll stay solid green. And when it's trying to acquire GPS, it'll be blinking red. So let me go ahead and hook up the battery on the back side. Okay, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Towards the bottom here, we have a sensor. Okay, and then on the front, we don't have any sensors whatsoever. So it is a pretty simple drone right here. And to get it started, guys, all you need to do is, of course, like on any product out there, always start the transmitter first. Uh, make sure that all these switches are pointing upward okay likewise otherwise it's not going to be able to pair here with the drone so you turn this thing on okay then you may want to hook up your cell phone to it just to make things a little bit easier and then quickly after this you can open the application later so then after you complete this part all you have to do is double tap and then hold the power key and now it turned on is trying to communicate here with the transmitter and there we go it has communicated already with the transmitter so what we're going to do next is uh, go ahead and I'm trying to get my phone here to unlock let me go ahead and connect here to the application the application guys is super super simple to use um, it is almost identical to the original Mavic Pro so here we have the um, let me just get this thing out of here uh, so here we have certain drones that they currently support we had the first one here I think this is called the dream then we have the other one is called um, I can't read the name right there guys but uh, anyways here we have the second model and then we have the third model which is the one that I have and this is the um, uh, great color version you can tell that it looks even more like the real Mavic Pro so all you have to do is click here on start flying but before you even do that you have to go here into your settings on your smartphone go into the Wi-Fi and then wait to find the Wi-Fi provided by the transmitter. That's the one you want to connect to. So you click controller and now after a few minutes I was able to connect here to the controller Wi-Fi as you guys can tell. So all we have to do now is hook up the phone to the transmitter. And so here we have it now connected guys. We can see we got the camera already working on here. So the transmission is not perfect 
but it is not expected either and once you see the actual footage coming out of the drone it looks dramatically different now something I am a little bit concerned about on this particular device is the fact that I'm not getting a lot of signal between the transmitter and the drone right now you guys can see that I'm just even touching it here with the transmitter and the signal is not the greatest um, it's giving us here the battery uh, indicator right now we are at 100% on the upper left hand side corner it says that we are ready to take off which i'm not going to do right now it is attempting to search for gps we don't have a gps signal inside of the room um, it is currently on altitude uh, hold mode so we move this now it'll be on gps hold mode and then if we flip it once more it'll go into the rotation mode um, then we got here the takeoff button as well directly from your cell phone but in this case i'd rather use the one here on the transmitter it's a lot more responsive and then of course we can go back into landing um, again this is the uh, gps return uh, switch so all you have to do is just flick it down and it'll come right back to you on here we also have some settings okay and this is where you calibrate your uh, compass and also the gyro i mean i don't think you can see it right here now when it comes to the compass here the problem that i was having guys is that i was near a metal object in this case it was on top of my sidewalk i guess that well when they build the sidewalk they put metal bars underneath it and that was causing an interference here with the drone so i had to go on the grass and i was able to calibrate it very very easily so basically all you do is click on the button that says calibration uh, for the compass and then you move it clockwise one turn until the light it's going to remain uh, green likewise then it's going to tell you to move it upwards likewise and you're going to rotate it again clockwise one turn and then the calibration will be complete and for the gyro all you need to do is have it on a level surface and it'll calibrate it for you as well so this application guys is super super easy to use it's a very user friendly uh, drone in my opinion very similar to the Mavic Pro even though it has some bugs and glitches but this is something that we could expect here from a drone that only costs $340 and is trying to be like the Mavic Pro. Now when it comes to the recording quality here of the Uptain C Fly, as you guys can appreciate from this footage, well the colors are not the best, they're not quite accurate like we see on the Mavic Pro and also it looks... Um, it looks like it has a lot of noise into the recording here you guys can see like it doesn't look very very high definition even though it is 1080p um, it mainly has to do because it has only a 5 megapixel sensor and it is not made of the best quality but it still guys is definitely viewable it is enjoyable and it's very stable thanks here to the gimbal that came included with it uh, which works absolutely perfect I didn't have any issues whatsoever as a matter of fact you can always move it here um, using the provided um, uh, wheel back here which I forgot to mention this is for the gimbal you can move the camera downwards you can move it upwards as you guys can tell and it works perfectly well it's a very stable uh, little gimbal here guys as you can tell so I don't have any complaints whatsoever I'm just warning you that it looks very fragile so if you open the little compartment here for the SD card be very very careful how you do it um, the battery like I said before guys is a 3800 milliamp battery and I was able to get around 18 minutes 15 18 minutes the most so I'm going to suggest that if you guys want to have a little bit more fun with this drone then get a secondary battery and that's pretty much it so far guys for the reliability I can't speak for it because I only had it for about two weeks now so I can't say how long it's going to last so far I am impressed I like what I see and it's very very stable the GPS positioning works very nicely it has altitude hold mode and you know just basically the same features that we will see on the Mavic Pro so I also recorded at night time so that way you guys can see the recording quality and how well it does on low light conditions and this one did I would say slightly better than the Mavic Pro that I had before at least in low light conditions you can see pretty much all the details out there and that's something that not every drone out there from China offers so with this being said guys I think we have completed here the unboxing the testing and the review of the Uptane C flight drone and if you have any questions you know exactly what to do just leave your comments below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one